Good morning. Welcome back to another video. It is 8.30. I am going to Pilates at 9.10. It's gonna be a chill day. We're going out to dinner tonight for date night to like celebrate Valentine's Day because Jake leaves on Tuesday for spring training. About to brush my teeth, change, and then get out the door. Please look, I don't know if you can tell, look at all of this dog hair on my shirt. <laughs> All from Jack's. But also, I got new light bulbs for the bathroom. I have to buy more. I only bought four yesterday. I got like the white light. Those were the old light bulbs. And it just made the lighting in here so yellow and like dark. So I think the white light bulbs will be a game changer. <laughs> I've been obsessed lately with all of their airlift intrigue sets. I think I have like six different colors now. They're just so good. They're really good for Pilates because top is still like very secure and comfortable and the leggings, they don't fall down. That's like the biggest thing I struggle with with Lululemon. Sticky socks going on. Solid core is where I go for Pilates and perimeter and they actually don't require sticky socks. So like sometimes I'll do a barefoot, but I prefer doing Pilates with sticky socks because I hate slipping. Okay, let's find a sweatshirt. Is it cold outside, Jake? No. <laughs> He knows I'm leaving. Okay, I also need to get new light bulbs for this closet because it's kind of dark and yellowy. Okay, he said it's not cold, so you know what? Let's just continue with our all black theme and go with black scuba. Come on, Jax. All right, we are ready to go. Say bye. Bye bye. Jake didn't get into the Pilates class this morning. He was on the wait list and the spot did not open up, so I'm going alone. Kind of sad about it. I love going to Pilates with him. Let's fill it up. You're ready to go. That was a good one today. It was triceps and outer glutes day. My whole body is shaking. Literally the only thing that got me through that class was knowing that I was gonna get Starbucks right after. So that's where we're headed right now. All right, we got the goods. This is literally the best order ever. I get the venti shaken espresso with vanilla sweet cream cold foam, a splash of almond milk, four pumps, sugar-free vanilla, and then no classic syrup. And it's literally the best thing ever. It's probably not that healthy. I feel like it's kind of healthy because I do sugar-free vanilla and I do no classic. So it's like a lot less sugar than I guess like the normal amount. It's literally so good. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. Oh my God. That first sip, mm, amazing. And then I got the turkey bacon sandwich. And it's pretty good. It's like probably the healthiest breakfast thing on their menu besides the egg bites, but the egg bites just don't do it for me. It's like not enough food. I need some bread in there. I need some cheese. Mmm, so good. Okay, now that I finished that, it's literally three bites. I think I'm gonna go to the mall because it's literally right across the street. And then I have a couple of returns. I need to get more light bulbs for our bathroom. I need to return a mirror from Target. We're like kind of redoing our whole room. We just bought like a new dresser, new nightstands, but now I need a mirror like above the dresser, I think. I don't know, I'll show y'all when I get home because I definitely need some advice, like if I should put a mirror above there or if I should put like a painting or something. But yeah, we're in the process of doing that and it's been a lot of trial and error. I've bought like five different mirrors for above the dresser and none of them look good. Just got back home. I really wanted to run errands with Jake because it's actually his last weekend here 
in Atlanta. He's upstairs changing his clothes real quick. We're in his new car. I don't know if I mentioned it last vlog, but he got in a wreck like a month ago. An 18 wheeler, they were merging into the same lane and Jake was like in the lane before him. I guess like the truck driver didn't see him. He ended up like scooping Jake and was like pushing him for like probably the length of a football field. It was so scary. I was actually on the phone with him when it happened and thankfully he was fine. He didn't even have a scratch, but his car was totaled. So he got a new car. He got a Jeep Grand Cherokee. So now we're car twins. I have a Jeep Cherokee, but his is a Grand Cherokee. It's more boyish. But here he is. So yeah, we're gonna go run some errands together. We're gonna go to Hobby Lobby to get a new mirror, hopefully, because they're 50% off right now. If you know, you know, Hobby Lobby always has things for 50% off. They like rotate the things that they have half off. So like this week was, I think, furniture, wall decor, mirrors. What are this called? Like dresser knobs, door knobs. I don't know what you call them. Knobs. Knobs. <laughs> but yeah, we just have an errands day. Oh crap, I forgot my Target and Sprouts return. It's fine. I can do that later. Oh, we don't have time later. Okay. <laughs> Flipping around. When we get home, I gotta get a workout in, and then we have date night celebrating Valentine's Day. Whoop, whoop, yes. Summer's already gotten her Valentine's Day gifts. She got a Theragun and a new hat. Oh, you gotta tell them the story of the hat. So we were at the mall, was it yesterday or the day before? Thursday? Thursday night? Maybe um, Thursday. No, it was Friday night. It was last night. It was last night. Wow, that feels like forever ago. Was it last night? Was it Wednesday night? Because it wasn't it was Thursday. Wednesday night, yeah, because I wore the new shirt on Thursday. Okay, yeah, Wednesday. that's right, that's right. So we went to the mall Wednesday night, and Jake had like gift cards to spend or whatever. So we went up to Lululemon, and then after Lululemon, I wanted to go to Sephora because I had some things that I wanted. Anyways, I go to Sephora. He's like, let me pop into Lids and like see if they have any Detroit hats because. He just got traded last month or in December. So I have like all Atlanta Braves hats and no Detroit hats. I have one now, or two now, I guess, since you got me that one. But anyways, he was like, let me just pop in here and see if they have any. And I'm like, mm, we're literally right beside the Braves stadium. Like, there's just no way they have, I'm sure they have some, like the popular ones, like Red Sox, Yankees. That's pretty normal. I was like, there's just no way they have Tigers hats, but go ahead, knock yourself out. And so then like five minutes later, he walks into Sephora with the lids bag. And I'm like, what'd you get? And he pulls it out and it's literally my favorite Braves hat. It's like tan and they had the same exact hat in Detroit. There's only Obviously two hats so. of the 30 MLB teams. There's only two tan dad hats in there like in, in that shape and it was Detroit and the and Atlanta Braves. Braves and they the were one I already have. Right it's next crazy. to each other. Literally right beside each other. The only ones like that just blew my mind. So we got it. It was great. Best place in the world. Okay, there was only one of these mirrors left yesterday when I was here. I'm so nervous that it got sold. <gasps> oh my god, someone bought it. I'm so sad right now. It was literally right here. <gasps> Ugh, I'm so pissed. <laughs> we were literally walking out and I saw the mirror like on a oh, cart the and asked late, the worker. I was like, did someone buy this? And she was like, yeah, it's up front. Like that means someone bought it and then we brought it up front for them to pick up. So, <sighs> so mad, but we're gonna go to the one in perimeter, which is annoying because I was literally just there this morning, but I definitely need Jake to like help me lift it up because it's pretty freaking heavy and his car's a little bit bigger. So I don't think it would have fit in mine anyways. Okay, round two, second Hobby Lobby location. I'm nervous. I was literally just here this morning. So if someone took it, and you know what? Good for them. They beat me and they deserve it. Place your order and we're gonna go in a protective casing. Woohoo! Alright, how do we like it? Is that Woo! What you want? Yeah, I think so. I think I like it like that. Is it's it too good? close to the window? Um no, I think it's good actually, right? I think it's good. What? 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 <laughs> what is it? What? Tell us. What? I like that it's also like a little bit bigger, like wider and taller than the one that we had previously. So this one we originally had right here and then moved it in there when we got the new dresser and nightstand. We're gonna change out these knobs. Jake already did one of them to this like crystal and gold finish. So we're gonna do all of them. That's gonna take a good minute. I gotta get in all the renovations before Jake leaves me for seven months on Tuesday. Hey! She's acting like I'm some sort of handyman. Oh, you saying hi? Okay, bye bye. Where are the rest of the knobs? Do you want me to get the rest of them? I'm gonna make my favorite vacation drink, which is passion fruit margarita. 
So I got some passion fruit puree mix. It's definitely not a healthy drink <laughs> at all. There's a lot of sugar in it, but it's so good. And then tahine for the rim, of course. And then by World Market, they had liquor store. So I got some Contro. And then also from World Market, they had these glasses on sale for $5. Look how cute they are. I feel like these would be good for like espresso martinis. So I got two of those because my sister is coming to stay with me in March and she loves espresso martinis. So I think we're gonna make them while she's here. Tomorrow's the Super Bowl and we're going up to Jake's parents' house to watch the game and have like a little going away party for him. And I'm gonna make brown butter chocolate chip cookies. So I got all the ingredients for those i had most of them it was like sugar flour butter all of that stuff that i already had but it called for sea salt flakes so they had these at world market and i also needed these for another recipe i want to make i want to make like the date snickers where you take like pitted dates you cut them open you put almond butter in them and then chocolate chips and then sea salt so i'm gonna make those too i picked up just like a random poppy because i'm addicted to the raspberry rose flavor and then from walmart i just got more light bulbs for the bathroom because I really just want like bright white light in a room and bathroom and not like these soft yellow light. I think I showed y'all. Oh, also went to Sephora, just popped in there. I've been wanting to like up my makeup brush game because I feel like the only brushes I ever use are just like eyeshadow and then I use like a beauty blender for pretty much everything. But I've started to change that. So I've gotten more brushes. Can you hear me? What? The up my makeup brush game? Why not? You're cringy. That's not nice. Anyway. Okay, anyways, I got a pro brush for powder. This will be mainly for bronzer. Okay, honestly, I don't use bronzer ever, which I feel like it's pretty common, but I really just do contour and blush and highlight on my cheeks, but I think I wanna start doing more bronzer. So I got this Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Island Ting because this TikToker I follow, she like swears by this stuff. Her makeup always looks really good. So I think I'm gonna try this stuff out tonight. Where are the rest of the knobs? Over there. And then I got this Patrick Ta contour brush. And it looks kind of intimidating, to be honest. The shape of it is like kind of wild. So it looks like this. <laughs> what would you guess that this brush is for? That brush? Yeah. That's to paint a line on a road. <laughs> what? Yeah, the, the yellow lines, the yellow dotted lines, just that's how thick that thing is. That was stupid. That was cringe. <laughs> that was I'm cringe. trying to up my brush game. Yeah. I'm trying to improve the brushes that I have. You could have just said that. Whatever. Anyways, this is for contour to really snatch back your cheekbones and then to be like super precise up here and I guess like around your nose and like under your chin and stuff. One of my goals for this year was to like really get good at makeup. I wouldn't say like I'm bad at makeup, but I also wouldn't say that I'm like an expert or like really good by any means. I'm pretty average, <laughs> but this year I wanna get really good. So I've been watching like a lot of makeup hack, tutorials, tips and tricks on TikTok and all of that. So this is the year I get good. And that starts with learning how to use brushes. That's pretty much it. That was a very, very, very random shopping haul. Let's see the progress on the knobs. How are we looking? Knobby. Knobby. <laughs> cool. I like them. Do you like them? Mm-hmm. I think they're cool. Okay, hi, it's been a minute. Honestly, we've just been like chilling. I just took Jackson a walk. Just been watching the new season of You. First of all, if you haven't watched the series, you need to go watch it. First season is like kind of weird and creepy. Once you get past the first season, I feel like it's pretty good. So we just started season four yesterday. And so we're on like episode three, but it's like almost five now, I think. I'm about to start getting dressed. I'm gonna do my makeup, hair. We're going to dinner at Eight Sushi Lounge in Midtown. I've actually never been there. It's like one of the most popular sushi restaurants in Atlanta and I've literally never been. I've tried to go multiple times but they're always booked out in reservations. So yeah, that's where we're going tonight. I'm so excited. I've been craving sushi all week. I just made a little drinky drink. Ever since honestly Boston, I got a passion fruit margarita. It was like one of their specials. I took a sip and it was literally the best drink I've ever had in my life. Like it was just so good. It was the perfect amount of like sweetness and tartness. Like I'm a fruity drink girl, but not like a sugary fruity drink. Like I'll have like a little bit of a strawberry daiquiri and then it's like too much. This one is so well balanced. It's so smooth. I'll show you. Let me just go get it. It's in my getting ready room. So I've like basically turned our guest room 
Jake's also taking a nap on the couch, so I need to be quiet. It's definitely not as good as the ones I had in Mexico because the passion fruit juice, I think, was like all fresh there. Like in all the drinks, there's pulp. So I'm like, can you just buy passion fruit and like make the juice? That was probably a stupid question. I'm sure you can. I need to look it up. But it's still really good. I got this super fancy glass for $4 from TJ Maxx. It's like a green Tommy Bahama <laughs> margarita glass. And then I put tahini on the rim, of course. And then it's two ounces of passion fruit puree, two ounces of tequila. I just used Casamigos Blanco. Apparently Blanco is the best for passion fruit margaritas, not Reposado. But I kind of want to try it with Reposado because Reposado is my favorite. And then one ounce of Contro, one ounce of lime juice. I just like juiced half a lime, three-fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. You just put it all like in a little cocktail shaker, shake it up. Pour it in there. It's really good. Anywho, I am about to pick out my outfit. I really don't know what I'm gonna wear because it's like cold and rainy, which sucks. Because I kind of wanted to dress up and get kind of fancy, not like crazy fancy, but I don't think that's gonna happen tonight because I kind of just want to be cozy and comfy. So I don't know. I got these new cargo pants from Abercrombie because I had them in green and I'm obsessed with them. So I got them in this like cream opal color they're super cute so i might wear these i don't know what shoes though okay my camera died i think i'm gonna try to do something with my hair it's like honestly greasy it's like on day four so i don't know what i want to do with it i kind of wanted to do like a fun hairstyle like braids into like a half up half down thing right now i'm like on hair tiktok and i've just been seeing like a bunch of different hairstyles that i've wanted to try and so i saved a lot of them but it's 5 54 we have to leave at 6 30 so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that also i got this this past week it's the Ilia lip wrap reviving balm because of emily kaiser kieser i don't know how to say her last name on tiktok i am obsessed with her just like everyone else and i love it but for 20 dollars I'm like basically almost through it. And like I do use it a good bit. Like I'm a lip balm girly. I have the driest lips. I chew on my lips as like a nervous tick thing. Not really nervous, just like a tick thing in general. It's like a habit. And so I always have to have something on my lips and I feel like I'm almost out of it. So I feel like the Laneige definitely lasts longer, but Laneige is like in some heat right now because they are not cruelty free. Apparently they test on animals, which is very sad now like having a dog i become more like sensitive to those kinds of things but anyways about to go do something to this hair put on some clothes and i'll show you all the final product all right we were rushing out the door so i didn't have time to show you my outfit but i'm just wearing this crop tank from cuts and then these cargo pants from abercrombie i don't like the shoes that i'm wearing with them i'm just wearing like my white mcqueens and they definitely don't match but i didn't have any other shoes that were like platformy that weren't heels so it's fine. Also, <laughs> I didn't show you all this, but I tried a hairstyle that I saw on TikTok and saved. And it was basically like a slicked back pony. And you like flip up your ponytail to like make it more voluminous. You split your hair in half and then you flip it under. I'm not explaining it right, but. Then I combed half of my head in the front and then I braided it back. And it was just giving dance competition slash Fifth grade field day. <laughs> slash handmade. Slash my brother did my hair. Slash I, I just got back from the beach in the fourth grade. Cornrows? No. Cornrows. It wasn't giving quite cornrows, but it was close. Just didn't work. It was like kind of loose. So maybe had I put more like time and effort into it, it would look better. But we ended up ripping that out and just going with a regular slicked pony because it was supposed to be hair washed in but i'm trying to push it to tomorrow but yeah we're starving ready to chow down i went with uh, the classic come over with a, a two and a half faded on the side nice beard still intact it's with a handmade from lulu cuts joggers and the shoes summer got me for christmas it's literally his uniform that's all he wears it's so annoying like how simple boys are he literally showered while i was doing my hair so like he began his process while i was doing my hair and still finished before me well before me like i wish i could get ready in five minutes you know how many things i could accomplish if it didn't take me so long to get ready you know i probably could have cleaned the whole house done three loads of laundry but it is fun being a girl i think it's fun getting ready more is so it? like with your friends like it's i not miss fun getting ready with your husband not as fun what like i miss college when our friends would like sometimes they'd come over to my place or i'd go to theirs and like we'd get ready to go out our getting ready drinks helping each other pick out our outfits sharing makeup tricks sharing our new makeup products i don't know 
it's just fun. It's just different. And now it's like, you can't do that with me. <laughs> I play music though. He does. He, has, he plays good music. But anywho, I'll shut up now. I'm gonna go to dinner and I'll show y'all what we get. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're about to sushi it out. I was like staring at their Instagram while we were eating lunch. We're for sure getting some pot stickers. Oh yeah. Anyways, we'll show y'all what we've been getting. Oh, yeah. We're starting out with a little appetizer, pot stickers, and a mame. This pot stickers look crazy. We should have gotten two orders. <laughs> Stop. Cheers. <laughs> We are so freaking stuffed. I feel like a busted can of biscuits in these pants right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Stop it. Anyways, That's crazy dog. we are full and happy. That was amazing. We ended up getting three different rolls and split them. This we got the Casanova hard. roll, King's roll, and the Hashtags roll. I think it was like three of their most popular rolls. And they did not disappoint. They're popular for a reason. When it comes to sushi, we like pretty basic. We're a step above like California roll. No, 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 no. Say I. Okay, me, no. I guess. I didn't really start liking sushi until college and it was mainly like California rolls and like the basic rolls, shrimp tempura. And now I've like started tempura. to, shrimp, shrimp tempura. And now I've like started to expand a little bit, but I'm still not on the level of like the pink raw fish. What is that like sashimi? Mm -hmm. Yellow. The raw rolls are the best rolls. I don't think I could ever bring myself to do that. All it, all it takes with sushi is just trying it because I was the same way. And then I had a raw roll and was like, dude, like this is phenomenal. Missing out? Yeah. Oh, but with the raw rolls, scary. you just gotta be careful. You can't eat too much of them because of the mercury. True. Anyway. But yeah, ate sushi lounge in Midtown. Highly recommend. Jake wants me to make those brown butter cookies tonight. So I might do that. All right, well, we just pulled into our apartment uh, complex. Can we get into the gate? Oh, shoot, I don't know. And all of our power's out. <laughs> So that's great. Poor We're having, Jacks. Like really bad winds right now. Yeah, because it's like not bad weather. Is the gate open? Yeah, it's open. You gonna be able to fit? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, that gate's broken, Bubba. Oof. Someone probably had to like manually lift it up. This is scary. I've never been here when the power's been out. Like out here in the garage. I remember one night the power went out and then went right back on, and you woke up. Oh yeah, that was recently. And you were like, Oh my god, the power went out. Cause like, like you know when you can hear the power go fine out, now. everything's like. Zoom. And I don't know, I heard it. This is so creepy. Yeah, this but is like- But poor some... Jax. I realized that we lost power because I got a notification that our blink cam- That's a spot ski right there, isn't it? Yeah. It said it just went offline. So I'm like, great, our power went out. But we got a notification from Georgia Power that should be restored by 9.15, which is 25 minutes. Poor Jax, we always leave the lamps on for him. And I guess like at one point they just went off and he probably freaked out. How are we gonna get in the door? Great. <laughs> Which is luck. This is literally so creepy. Ooh. And the, the keypad over there is off, isn't it? I would imagine, yeah. Dude, what? So we're just gonna have to wait for someone to come out. Should I text Kira? Lord help us. All right, thankfully there was a door that was open, so we got in. This is something about a freaking horror movie. Yeah, this is. Jackson. Well, this is our current state. Jackson. We're in the hallway because they have these like emergency lights and the apartment's like really dark. Even with candles lit, we couldn't see anything. So we brought Jax out in the hallway to play fetch, but he loves to hold on to the ball. He doesn't he want to only, give it up. He only does this when we play fetch in the hallway. When we're outside, he drops True. it. Yeah. But when we're in the hallway, he thinks that when he drops it, we're going to take him inside. Yeah. Jax, drop it. Drop it. Here's your treats. Get your treats. Drop it. You little turd. Just come here. Where are you going? Okay, bye. He hey. like wants us to fight him for it. Here you go. And we're not gonna do that. Get your treats. Drop it. Jax, drop it. Drop the ball. Jaxie. If anyone has any tips for this, let us know. Drop it. Because he doesn't want to give it up. <gasps> Good boy. Go ahead and drop it. Come here. I don't Come think here. he did that on purpose. Come here. But get your treats. Come here. Come get your treats. Look. You ready? Okay. Bad throw. Good boy. Good boy. All right, well, the power just came back on. Thank God. We were getting in the bed anyways. No, you're sleeping in the crate tonight. Me and Jaxie got the bed. Did you just hear that? Well, look oh, at him. So. He's literally in my spot. He's so sweet. He is sweet. 
You sweet muffin man. I'm not no muffin man. <laughs> yeah, you are. You the muffin man. All right, we did enough of our cringy dog voices. <laughs> hey, you gotta move over a little bit. We're about to call it a night. I just took off my makeup, clearly. Did my you know skincare. Brush my teeth. I was gonna make those cookies, but the, the power, power going was out was a good excuse. You know the drill. You know the drill. I so, give mommy her room. I'm about to read some of my book. I'm reading The Silent Patient. I'm like halfway done with it. I'm a pretty slow reader. I'm on Book Talk right now, where like my whole for you page is like book recommendations. The TikTok that I'm on right now, I'm on Book Talk, <laughs> hairstyle talk, like hair tutorials and Look stuff. What else am I on? Uh, Those are the ones I see the most You're for of. sure on recipe talk. Food talk, coffee talk, coffee recipes. My whole Twitter timeline right now is just fights. <laughs> I don't know why. Dick loves to watch a good fight. I love, even if we're like in public and we see an altercation, someone will tell me quit staring. Yes, Jake will walk over to where the people are <laughs> fighting. And I'm like, dude, you're about to get fought yourself. I wish they would. Gosh. Anyways, this is such a first world problem, but when I was walking into the bathroom, the power was still out and I was like starting my skincare. And I was like, you know what really sucks about this power being out? I can't use my hatch alarm clock to fall asleep. Jake even said, he's like, I think I need to get me one before I leave for the season because he... They're great. When you're the one waking up to it, it's great. When you're not the one waking up to it, it's like, okay, please, can we please Yeah, he gets so mad at 5 a.m. during the week <laughs> when it goes off. He's like, um, are you awake yet? Can you turn that off? It is a peaceful way to wake up though. Yeah, it's nice. All right, anyways, we're gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching today's your video. Your hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> we'll see you in our next one. This is gonna be the last vlog that you're in for a while. Jake leaves for spring training on Tuesday and it's currently Saturday, so we only have a few days left with him. And mm. then me and Jax, I still haven't decided if I'm gonna take Jax down to see him at spring training, but I'm gonna go like halfway through spring training to see him escape this Georgia weather. It's been raining for the past like four months here. So. Literally. Literally at least three days a week for four months straight. Mm -hmm. So annoying. All right, anyways, we'll see you in our next video. Bye.